think the owner of a place called Sideshow Gelato would look? There we go. Yeah. Fits the bill. Yeah. Fits the bill. Good morning, Hi, Mr. Good morning, James. Anna. Great to see you. Good to see you too. All right. Tell, I know that you're a professional chef. And so that would be the gelato component, but tell right. me a little bit about what your product uh, is, how does it make it different, and then we'll move on to the sideshow freaky part of this. Well, uh, it's all artisan gelato. I make mm -hmm. everything myself. I trained with an Italian gelato master to mm -hmm. learn how to make it to Italian standards. Mm -hmm. uh, gelato, if it's done right, should have a uh, really smooth, velvety mouthfeel. Mm -hmm. It should have a spreadability to it. Uh, somewhere between hard ice cream and soft serve ice cream. Um, mm -hmm. It's just the best Italian ice cream there is. So you have vegan and you have what you would call artisanal Right, too. we do have vegan. It's my own pr pr proprietary mm -hmm. uh, recipe. Uh, we always carry six to seven, maybe eight flavors. Small batches. That are vegan. Oh, yeah. That's so a lot. We, we have a huge selection of vegan gelato. What the funkiest names? I already tried. Which one's the one I said I won't try it and you made me? Oh, the pickled punk. The pickled punk. Right here, yeah. It's cucumber and dill. Right. It wasn't bad. And one of our vegan gelatos <laughs> here is Penn's Gelato, uh, which is made for Penn Gelato, who is one of the investors in the shop. Penn loved this idea. Now tell me. Why did you marry Sideshow with Gelato? Well, Anna, I'm nuts. That's yeah. basically what it, it comes down to. It was a fever to. dream, you I'm, called yeah, it. Yeah, I'm completely out of my mind, mm -hmm. and uh, that's basically it. Um, it's all, all stuff that I used to uh, mm -hmm. love since I was a kid. I mm -hmm. love Sideshow stuff. And, uh, and uh, I have training as a chef. Mm -hmm. And uh, somewhere uh, when my 50th birthday, I took my mm -hmm. family to uh, Florence, Italy. Mm -hmm. And my granddaughter and I, um, mm -hmm. Uh, basically ate our weight in gelato mm -hmm. and I knew that there was something interesting and different mm -hmm. about what I was what I was having mm -hmm. so uh, I went and learned how to train to do it and this just kind of seemed like a natural idea to me uh -huh. nobody else I'm sure no but to me it's this was like this was a gimme so, so every scooper knows how to entertain every scooper is a fledgling entertainer uh -huh. uh, they are uh, in our mentorship program as well as being mm -hmm. scoopers mm -hmm. under the tutelage of our uh, mentor professor Pinkerton uh -huh. and um, we hope that we can perpetuate this mm -hmm. we could perpetuate this program mm -hmm. where uh, um, basically uh, we keep getting more and more new kids that come mm -hmm. in uh, to learn how to how to perform and was, they can they can leave uh, go on to their careers and we get a new batch in so that is Mr. that's Mr. Pinkerton when we come back around town he also has a museum next door of the what the supernatural this, no, the transmundane okay yes we'll have more the gelato is good by the way we'll have more coming up around town from sideshow gelato in Lincoln Square.